What can it power? It can power a TV, a laptop, a fan, lighting. Are you sure this one can power a TV? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. How old are you? I'm 23. You're 23? And you're already making products that is competing with NEPA. So if I have your products, I don't have NEPA problems again. What's up guys, how are you doing today? It's Ty Aino here again. So we came to this place called Made in Aquaibom Corporation to show you some of the products that are made in Aquaibom by people from here and also showcase some of the entrepreneurs who are doing amazing. So today we're going to be talking to somebody who has a really remarkable story and he has been able to create a product that we can use in our everyday lives wherever we are in Nigeria. So let's go and talk to him and hear what his plan is with this new product that he has created. So guys, I want to introduce you to Edith, who is the founder of PowerSoft, which is a portable solar generation company. How are you doing today? Good, sir. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So can you tell me about your company? What, what's it about? My name is Mwek and Edith, and I'm the founder of PowerSoft. So we make portable hybrid solar generators. So we are using lithium-ion battery, which um, has a great um, amount of energy in it, so that with a single two hours charge, you can enjoy electricity up to like four to six hours. Four to six hours? Yes. What can it power? It can power a TV, a laptop, a fan, lighting. Hmm. Yep. So you guys are competing with NEPA. You know the way NEPA is always popping our lights. <laughs> so if I have your products, I don't have NEPA problems again. Yes. So, so can you show me one of the... Yeah, one of so... It looks really small. Are you sure this one can power a TV? Yes, I will... I will plug it. You will demonstrate it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I need to see... I need okay. to see how... I need so to see the magic product. that is going to be performed here. And then... Oh, and it's light too. It's not heavy. So I will just put this on. So this represents the battery level and then this is the output. Okay. Okay, I'll just put that there. Get there. Okay. And I would then... like to see this in action. Okay. Hmm. Moment of truth. <laughs> dun, dun. Oh, wow, okay. It's on, actually. Okay, let me... Oh, interesting. So you can charge it, it's chargeable? Yes, so this is the charger. Oh, wow. No money power problems. <laughs> this is really innovative. What led you to building this product? When I was What's in the... secondary school, well, I can normally have a lot of problems during my assignment when I come back. And then there's no, always no light. So that is what gave me the drive to start making this. So I started reading about lithium-ion batteries, hmm. get some of them, and then do experiments on it before building this. So it's about six years now, and this is the time that I said, let me make it as a product. Do you have like a, like an engineering or electrical engineering background? Or yes, you... I'm a student of University of Rio, um, Electrical Electronics Department. Oh, wow. So this is my 400 level. Oh, you're, st you're still in school? Yeah. I see. Wow, that's amazing. I even thought you actually left. How old are you? I'm 23. You're 23? Yeah. And you're already making products that is competing with NEPA. <laughs> I need to take one of these in Lagos. You know in Lagos, most of the houses there, we don't have good power. Every time I'm trying to make a video, or edit a video for you guys, Nepa is always taking light on me. So I think a product like this really solves that problem. So you can basically plug a TV, a laptop, a lighting point, all of them at the same time. On this thing? Yes. How long can it power them? Like how many hours, how many minutes? With that, it will stay for two hours, 30 minutes. With all of those that I'm plugged into it. But if it's only like on a TV will stay for four hours, on a laptop five hours. Oh wow, guys, what do you think? Comment below what you think in the comment section below. Where do you see yourself with this product in like the next, let's say, five years? Um, we we'll hope to build this and then move out from doing only this to provide power to a bigger community. Can you show us around like what happens here? I think which is your space, right? Yeah. Okay, we are trying to currently build a provision where you have automatic changeover built inside because some people are not okay standing up to go and change their life from NEPA to the investor. So we want to include the automatic changeover in this one. Was it from the internet or where did you get all this knowledge? Mm, I learned fr some from internet and then when I finished my secondary school, I had somebody say I should come work for him. So he taught me a lot. One of the reasons why I'm doing this video is to show that innovation can happen anywhere. It doesn't necessarily have to be in Lagos or in Abuja or in any other place outside. It can happen anywhere. What are some of the other things I can see? Maybe you can just okay. give us like a minute tour. Of all right. I, apart from building solar generators, I do laser engraving, 3D oh. printing, and laser cutting. If we are building, let's say we want to build a drone, 
Oh, you build drones too? Yeah, it's mostly for school projects. When students say they want to do this, they want to do that. That is where I will fabricate the frame. Or currently, we are working on something that will read the level of fertilizer in the soil. Wow. So you are you are basically working on different, like the inventions at the same time in this small space that you are. Would you say that you are the next Elon Musk? <laughs> I will say yes. Okay, cool. How do you plan on scaling up? Are you open to investors? What are some of the problems you're facing and how can they be solved? Sometimes getting the company itself, sometimes it takes a lot of time. And then for the funding, uh, it's one thing, but since we're doing this and then it sells, we get the money from it, but it's still much of a problem because like as we're doing this video now, if it gets viral now, there will much others. Yeah. And then the money may not be there to satisfy that order. That order, yeah. yeah like that. But if that money is there, we can make it and then supply for that order and then that will be fine. What's so unique about your product? Are there any other products like this in the market? Uh, like MT and yellow box, they make solar generators, but the power that they deliver is 75 watts, so it's quite limited. Mm. And then you have to pay for like four years, like it's like 400,000. Oh, so wow. I said, let me bring it down to 60,000. So oh, this is 60,000? Yeah, that's 60,000. Wow. So you basically you are competing with MTN and Nepal. <laughs> What's one advice to a lot of young Africans who are out there and watching this? What's your one advice to them? Um, I would say keep doing what you can do best. When you start, people may not actually notice you. It's when you are excellent in what you are doing, that is what will attract um, at people's attention to you. And then there's a platform like Made in Aquarium Corporation. Whatever you create and you bring it here, it will help you have access to people to see what you can actually create. This is a wonderful story and I'm happy that I was here to share it with you guys all the way from Acquire Bomb. I'm going to put links and phone numbers and emails to his company in the description below. So if you want to contact him, maybe you want to order, you need to order. I need people to actually order this product. It's an ambition to light up Africa and provide power to places that don't have electricity, which is Yama Mini. Yes, so it's going to be a Yama Maxi. No, this is the Pro. This is the Ah, this is Pro.